Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media, and tonight's video I want to review Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Now, I just finished this in 4K UHD Blu-ray, so let's go over the movie quickly. So this is a Luke Besson film, the same guy who directed and made The Fifth Element and Leon the Professional, two movies that I love, and... This movie, let me tell you, is definitely in the same vein as The Fifth Element, meaning it's wacky and it's a level of sci-fi that you're not usually used to, but this is all over the place, and that's that, that's kind of the thing. Luke Besson films I know are kind of all over the place. Leon the Professional isn't. It just didn't really do it for me. I'm hoping on rewatches it does. The Fifth Element I didn't love on the first watch, but do love now, so I'm hoping this clicks later on. But now let's get to the picture quality, what you guys came here for. So this is a 2K digital intermediate upscale to 4K, but honestly, you're going to forget about that because this movie is so colorful and vibrant. It is one of the most vibrant discs I've seen. It's on the level of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. They're jumping galaxies similar like the Guardians of the Galaxy. You get pretty much every color in the rainbow in the rainbow here but the 2k to 4k upscale it is a bit soft but the thing is that you won't even notice that because the shots are so vibrant and what you're seeing on the screen is so beautiful that the soft close-ups and soft shots that are here and there really don't make that much of a difference and i think that's why it's a 2k di because there's so much special effects here so much of this is cgi i mean it definitely is a treat for the eyes though. This is also shot digitally, so there's no grain at all. But really everything is CGI and everything is neon and it's almost like Minority Report mixed with like video games where they put on these helmets and you visualize like augmented reality an entire city and it looks absolutely beautiful. Now let's get to the Dolby Vision and HDR. So this is a Dolby Vision disc as well. So we're getting a lot of Dolby Vision discs lately and the Dolby Vision does not disappoint. It looks very, very good here. And compared to the HDR, the Dolby Vision is definitely a step up in this transfer by far. Because there are so many colors, the nuances and the colors are more noticeable in the Dolby Vision, whether it be when they're jumping dimensions, whether it be the shift of when they're putting the helmet on, the blues, the greens, the yellows, the reds, the teals. I mean, there are so many colors in this movie. There's not one to really highlight. There is one scene in the beginning, a beach scene, that is absolutely beautiful where the main two characters are just on an isolated beach with water around them and it's just like Bermuda beautiful blue water and all the nuances in the water as it floats and as the waves go by you could really notice in the Dolby Vision as well as the HDR but the Dolby Vision more so. You will not be disappointed in the color palette though on either transfer. The colors really pop off the screen here and there is every color in the rainbow on this transfer. The black levels are also really good here. The shadow detail is very good when it needs to be able most of the scenes here are very bright but the scenes in space you will get the nice inky blacks. Now for sound, you do get Dolby Atmos as well, and the sound here does not disappoint. You will be getting a lot of spaceships, you'll be getting a lot of loud rumbling, and the bass is very strong here. Anyway guys, let me know what you think of the transfer below. Let me know if you plan on picking it up. Subscribe down below for more content, and have a good night guys.